I'm going to be showing you how to make these tiny bags today. Grab some yarn. I'm using a 4mm crochet hook and a needle to stitch my end. Start with a magic ring. Chain 3 Include this as your first stitch and now make 11 double crochets into the ring. You should have a total of 12. Once you're done, pull your yarn and tighten your circle. Now join both the ends with a slip stitch into your first one. For row 2, chain 3 and you're going to do an increase in each chain. So do a double crochet into the same chain now. Yarn over and you're going to do one increase into each chain. You should have a total of 24 double crochets. Now join both the ends with a slip stitch. Now for row 3, do an increase in every second chain. You should have a total of 36 chains now. Once you're done, join both the ends with a slip stitch again. Yarn over and you're going to do one half double crochet into each chain. Now you're going to do that for the next 5 rows. I'm done with my 5 rows. You're going to do a decrease in the next row. So start by doing one half double crochet in the next 3 chains. And a decrease in the 4th one. Yarn over again, insert it again and now pull through all of them together. and a decrease in the fourth one. So do this for the entire row. For the next row, Start by doing one single crochet in the next four chains. Now 
now for the handle do 10 chains skip the next 5 and insert your hook into the 6th one and do a single crochet so 15 chains and skip 5 now do one single crochet in the next 9 chains and a chain of 15 now skip 5 and the sixth one a single crochet and a single crochet into the next four chains for this next row you're going to do a decrease so one single crochet and a decrease in the next one again one single crochet and now do 15 half double crochets one single crochet and a decrease in the next one now two single crochets and a decrease in the next one one single crochet and 15 half double crochets one single crochet a decrease and one single crochet Now you're going to do one slip stitch into each chain for the last row. Pull your yarn long and cut it. Now just stitch off your end.
so this is how you make this tiny bag